Open Source Communities. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 287. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sabel and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 287, September 23rd, 2018 edition. One Community's mission is to bring together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all life on the planet and to create self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a path to global sustainability. And those teacher demonstration hubs for us, which you can see them happening in the background of this video right now, are open source communities. And so that's what I wanna talk about is open source communities because we think that's the foundation of the future of a sustainable planet that works for everybody. And we think that that can be created within our lifetime through the model that we have been putting years of work into and open sourcing uh, all the way up until now. And so open source communities, what you see here happening in the background is the seven different community models and the city center that we're designing and open sourcing and free sharing as a path to global sustainability. And these open source communities are not just infrastructure. They open source an evolution of sustainability that includes all the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing. And we're combining those with what we've identified as the emotional foundations of sustainability, which are, and we call this highest good living models, uh, highest good approaches to education, highest good approaches to economics, highest good fulfilled living practices, as well as true earth stewardship. And we're putting all these things together as foundations of the open source communities and sharing all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for replication of everything as either individual components or as the complete model. And so one community will be that complete model that people will be able to come to, visit, experience. And if they'd like to build an open source community of their own, or if they just like to take an individual component and integrate that into their life, then you can do that. And this is what we're all about. We're about creating open source communities that can be replicated anywhere in the world. And you can see them in the background here so that people can live a sustainable lifestyle if they want to and experience the benefits of that for them, for the economy, for the planet, for everyone. It is a win, 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 win scenario. And we are dedicated to it and creating the open source foundations because we see this as a path. We see open source communities as a path to global transformation, positive and permanent global transformation that can affect the lives of every single person. We think kids should be able to run free without the risk of being kidnapped. We think that people should be able to buy high quality products that aren't that laced with poison, that haven't had poison sprayed on them. We think that people should be able to drink clean water, breathe clean air. All of these things are within reach if we take back control of our environment and start living lifestyles that are for the highest good of each other, for the highest good of the planet, for the highest good of all life on this planet. And so open source communities are our path to sharing that with everybody, to making that accessible to everybody everywhere. And if you run the numbers on this idea of open sourcing communities and open source communities spreading on their own because they're made and demonstrated as easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough, we can create a sustainable world that will benefit everybody within 30 years. And the way that happens is in the first year, once we start constructing one community and sharing what it is that we're doing and sharing the videos and the tutorials and taking everything that we've done that we've got written so far to the whole next level of video tutorials and putting that out there and running it as almost like a nonstop network sharing what one community is doing, an inside look of how we're doing everything that we're doing and teaching others how to do it as well. If that process, starting that process can motivate and supply what's needed as the instructions, the details as far as labor is concerned, and cost analysis and all of that, so that two more communities feel confident and comfortable, confident and comfortable getting started the next year. And if those two plus the original one community, then doing what it is that we're creating can share sufficiently to inspire four more communities the year after that, and then eight and 16 and 32, spreading this idea because it's easy enough and it's affordable enough and demonstrates attractive enough that people want it, that it starts becoming mainstream 
and you do that self-replicating process and you work that out for 30 years, in just 30 years, we can include the whole human population. And the reality of it is, is in 30 years, we wouldn't include the whole human population. I mean, we could, but some people are not going to want to do this. Some people may have more challenges as far as access to information, things like that. But it only takes a percentage and not even 50%, probably not even 20% of the population to engage in an idea like this, to be able to positively and permanently impact the lives of everybody, to create a network of highest good organizations and communities, open source communities working together to create more and more open source tools, tutorials, resources, do-it-yourself instructions, so people that don't want to live in a community, people that would just like to live sustainably and do their own thing, or people that have completely different, radically different values, but see the benefits of sustainability, of combating climate change, of addressing global hunger and poverty and social injustice, of eliminating the foundations that have been driving war for centuries with our cultures by giving people enough, by creating abundant lifestyles that anybody can access anywhere, by making it clear how much it would cost and how much time it would take and bringing those costs down and making it even more efficient by sharing everything that we're doing. If we can create that, we can create a world that works for everybody within our lifetime because enough people will want to participate that we can provide something for everyone, everyone. Even the top 1% that might not have any interest in participating in such, a th such as this would still have something of benefit that they could get from this, which could be investment in these communities, helping others to set them up and taking a percentage of those profits by funding those communities. And these are communities where when they're up and running fully, money need not exist within the community. Communities that are capable of producing enough sufficiently internally and generating enough revenue so that within the community, people don't need barter or exchange to pay for things. Instead, that's handled as an organization. Things are purchased and brought in the community, but living within the community, unless you're one of those people doing that purchasing or shopping, would never even need to think about that. Imagine how life would be different. This is what we're creating, and this is one of the foundations of our open source communities model a resource-based economy. So this is what we're creating. One community is an all-volunteer nonprofit organization doing it. I'm a volunteer and so is everybody else. So with that said, here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards open source communities. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued design updates to the open source Murphy Bed Furniture Assembly Instructions. The focus this week was integrating a new, cheaper, and easier hardware strategy for securing the bed and making it so it lowers slowly and safely, and updates to the hinge details of the new table and bench designs. You can see some of this work in progress here. The core team also brainstormed and created an outline for a new Earth Bank Village construction option that will allow for individualized and expanded designs of the standard homes in this village. You can see some of this work in progress here. And the core team created new imagery and updated all the highest good housing graphics used during the introductions to these weekly updates. You can see some of these updates here and you can watch the beginning of this video to see the complete update details. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 22nd week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week he created the new parts layout and duplicated it on all the section pages, changed all the references to all the parts throughout, double checked final sizes by making digital parts at a 1 to 1 scale, and created all the cutting maps for the 1 4th, 3 4th, and 1 inch pieces. You can see some of this work in progress here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. The core team working with Dipti Dondurker, electrical engineer, also continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 95th week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was testing several different lighting options for the library to settle on these final fixture and placement choices so we could create the graphic here that is now on the website also. The core team also organized the city center structural engineering details completed to this point and started the process of building the next team to finish what remains. 
and the core team began updating the Pallet Furniture open source hub by adding a table of contents, organizing all the data we have so far, and adding the completed cost analysis details. You can see some of this work here. Du Feng, civil engineer, also completed his 21st week working on the fire suppression and safety systems designs for the Dupical City Center Sprinkler and Emergency Systems open source hub. This week, he began the process of updating the AutoCAD, spreadsheets, and tutorial with a design that will be more cost-effective. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open-source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind-the-scenes narrative and the detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This week's focus was continuing the proofreading of the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan page and completing the edits for the Transition Kitchen page behind the scenes. You can see some of this work here. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include Comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly theme lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete. Summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the Highest Good Network software team consisting of Samya Manahar, software engineer, web developer, and net application developer, and Shuber Mittal, software delivery manager, also continued development of this software. This week, they implemented the ability for administrators to edit the date of work and implemented a forced password change template in Logic. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards the goal of open source communities. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. We'll add you to our newsletter list and we'll send you out an email each week when one of these comes out. Uh, also, if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page or uh, join us on social media. It's the easiest way to help out. Uh, get involved in our project, follow our project. Uh, through social media and all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Pinterest, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Twitter, we are on Facebook, uh, we are on Instagram and about 15 other social media networks, LinkedIn of course, to make it as easy as possible, Google Plus, to uh, follow our progress, to share our information, to access our information in the way that you prefer. And uh, if you'd like to help us out in a really easy way, just go like some of our posts or share some of our pages of our website that you think are most inspiring and make the biggest difference in people's lives. Help us get the word out there and uh, into the hands of the people who need it and want it most so we can continue to move this project forward as a bigger and bigger family, as a bigger, bigger group humanity working towards this goal of global transformation, open source communities for the benefit of all life on this planet. So with that said, thanks for watching to the end. If you're somebody who's donated to our project, it makes a big difference. 100% of donations, of course, go directly towards our mission because none of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. We're all volunteers, and uh, we appreciate your support. Thanks for watching to the end. Thanks for following our progress. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.